Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm back with more sugar skulls. I poured another batch and I painted them up, and I also wanted to show you what I'm doing with them um, ultimately, but I'll just go through these real quick. I also tried a couple of new things. I put sequins in the eyes, and actually that's like a little bit of bling in there too. Um, this is another cross one I did. And I just poured these with that purple again. And I paint the eyes black. I just paint them black because a little bit of white gets on that. This is a makeshift band-aid. I got a paper cut just now. I made a washi tape band-aid. Um, <laughs> I was saying, uh, yeah, but because a little bit of white gets on the eyes, so it doesn't look good anyway. So I, then this one's red and white. Um, see like that white right there, that kind of like shows up on the eyes inside the eyes so I just paint over it with red and um, this one I put like a big bling heart in that eye and there you go that's better I put a pearl in the center of this eye and I glued it with glossy accents I used the triple thick again to do these and I just domed the back this one I just had these little star flower looking things and this one has a peace sign I love this one it has says love on his teeth I gave everybody else a gold tooth and did the old little tattoo on the tooth but uh, this one I just put a peace sign and some flowers all around and those kind of shiny eyes and my dogs down here uh, and then this one I like this one it, I did a flower because this one kind of mimics the, my favorite. So I'm going to pull that one in. This one, a little, this was my favorite that I, I really liked this one. So I kind of played off that flower at the top and the vines. And um, actually it's not exactly like it, but I, I liked going around the nose. I wanted to make sure, oops, I went around the nose. And that's in the purple. Um, and then I just did, you know, I painted these eyes. So I tried some different eyes on them, and I really do like the painted eyes, I think, but I mean the sequins, they definitely pop and they sparkle a lot, so I really like this one too. This is the other cross I made, so I'll show you, I'll move those away. So this was the one I made last time, see, so this one has, this looks like, it reminds me of Terminator when he has those eyes like that, but um, this is another the other cross I made and I ended up putting um, eye screws on both ends and these are the little gold ones that you get in the wood section um, at my Michaels I got these because they were a little smaller than the ones that I had um, and then I made little bead dangles this is like a little skull I wonder if this is in focus yeah this is a uh, little those little skull beads you can get and I gave them like a little um, crown looking thing and I attached these with um, whoopsie there goes my camera with uh, split rings actually this one's I didn't do this one yet but I attached them with split ring I put a cross on the bottom of that one but I attached them with split rings because I figured they'd be much stronger the charm wouldn't fall off that way because these jump rings aren't that strong so there's a split ring there and I put a red um, skull on this one with a heart dangle at the bottom and just little 2B dangles. And at the top, I did the wire wrapping with a little, um, this is just like a, like it could be a purse charm or a zipper pull or a keychain. I don't know. I, I they didn't have any gold keychains because I'm going to make some keychains too. Um, cause I'll make, I'll make quite a few of these cause I'm going to have these for my craft show. So that, like, that's kind of the finished, um, thing. And then this is my favorite. I told you my favorite, but I put, um, like I, I only had one pair of these gold wings because I used to bead years ago and I took things apart to like get this the way I wanted it but I gave him wings and put a bead at the bottom and then gave him the crown put a few dangles and just a, uh, a gold bead dangle at the bottom and then at the top I did the uh, wire wrapping with a bead I brought the blue in from his eyes because I really love this blue and just again did the clip at the top but I love him with the wings and then on the other one see I really like giving them oh this one is the one I did it with you give them this little collar too I put this like um, it looks like one of those ruffle collars almost like and it looks like a crown so and that one has the cross 
what is that called? The spacer bead. This one I just did um, put a heart. I already showed you that. And then here is the other. I just didn't get to this one yet. I'll make a dangle for it tonight. But see, I just put the eye hooks in both ends. And right now I'm just using these for either key rings or these kind of bead charms or um, zipper pulls or I don't know. But I had these in gold because I went with my gold findings because I only had I had these little gold eye screws. But I'm gonna probably like for let's see, he's gold. I was thinking I might do silver for him, even though there's a little bit of gold. He's got gold eyes, so I don't know. But um, I'm really, really loving these. I'm just gonna keep playing because I paint. I painted for years, and this is making me happy to paint again. So I'm gonna pull this up a little. Um, I'm going to um, go away and come back with, uh, sorry, I, I probably, this is just annoying. Um, go away and come back with uh, another resin share. I finished my mermaid today, so um, I'm not going to reveal it yet. It has to dry, um, but these are super cool. So thank you all so much for all your help with my resin, but I think I'm getting it. And thanks for watching.